space for both Mountaineer Food Bank and Facing Hunger Food Bank uh, to really tackle hunger here in all 55 counties in West Virginia. And we've been excited to be in this space. But we're much more excited than what you see behind us, um, which is uh, made possible by gentlemen to my right in the West Virginia legislature for just you know putting their faith in us and helping us feed hungry West Virginians. Um, so we're really excited to open this door and, and show you guys what we've been doing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna hand it off to you to tell them a little bit about our work. Well, I will tell you that since 2018, no one has supported hunger reduction in West Virginia more than Governor Jim Justice and the West Virginia Justice is the first person to add a line item to the budget that supported the two food banks in West Virginia. The legislature has been a key part of that, understanding that we have communities that aren't made up of folks that just want to take, that are strong Appalachians who understand the need to get resources to improve their lives. The addition of this cooler is going to allow us to have the healthiest of food products, perishables, fruits, and vegetables, to be accessed by our network of agencies in communities that we struggle to serve because of the limitations of cooler space. So on behalf of, um, what, 270-some thousand hungry West Virginians, Governor, we thank you for your continued commitment to our state, to those in need, and to the two food banks. And thank you, members of the legislature, because we know how it works. We need you to partner with us. And if you guys would step up, please, to be recognized with Come on us. Up here with you. So I didn't have anything quite like this. 
But this is really amazing. That's all there is to it. It's amazing. But now, let's just step back just a little bit and think just this. And these great men, you know, are great friends. Mort and Glenn are really, really good friends. And the work they do is terrific. And the work that Cindy and Chad and all the great people here do, unbelievable. But it's still not enough. It's just not enough. Do we all not realize that in this great state, especially today, with the surpluses we have and all the good stuff we got going on, I mean, for God's sakes, a living, how can we really tolerate having people go hungry? We've got to do something about it. That's all there is to it. If it doesn't touch your soul, then you got something wrong with you. Now, there's no question that there's some people out there that maybe should be working or whatever it may be and just don't have any get up about them and everything else and we surely could employ them and everything else. But why do we need to focus on them? You know, it really boils right down to it. God taught us a lot of things that are even way better than focusing on them. We focus on all those that are really hurt. And they need us. They need you. And so for all you do, good graces, I could never thank you enough. Baby dog loves, loves chicken nuggets. And so do I. And a lot of these folks may have never had a chicken nugget. All they want to do is be, not be hungry at night when they go to bed. You really do a phenomenal work. You're doing God's work every day. It's really, really, really important. I could never, ever thank you enough. And I'm proud that you just let me just kind of go with you because I'm really, really proud to be a part of it. That's all there is to it. So let's cut a rhythm, okay? David, can you stay right here for some second? <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, Jim, Chris, Jeff, you make the magic happen up here, please. I'll be proud of you, but I'll tell you, I, I would, okay. I would just the same. Y'all do it because y'all are, y'all are the best of the best. All right, you guys have worked up here. Hey Chad, you can put the door up and have them go inside so they're facing out. Mm -hmm. Ten million that we've got in the budget. 
and if things kind of fall down, you got another 10 million. Let me sit down right here, guys. I got this crazy hip, man. This is crazy. Okay, go ahead. I listened driving home and cried because um, Governor Justice will be known for a lot of things in his legacy as governor, but his attention to the, those in the governor will never be met. Can I tell you this real quick about Posey Pear? He was my uncle. Now you meet a lot of people, and we all say this about our parents, our grandparents, our uncles, our aunts, whatever it may be. Greatest person I ever knew, and greatest person, this person was unbelievable and everything. This was really a great man. He's 94 years old. He was the last of my mom's, you know, brothers and sisters. Absolutely, he was a coal miner his whole life, and then he retired. He's a real, real, real Christian man, and a good man. Good, somebody that truly, truly tried to help everybody. I'll never forget a story he told me. He said, there was a guy at the mines, and the guy came up to him one day and said, Posey, can you loan me $20? And I said, I'm not giving you the money because all you're going to do is go out and buy liquor with it or whatever like that. I'm not giving you the money. And he said, I went home and I started thinking about it and I said to myself, it's really not what God wanted me to say. And so I went back to him the next day and gave him the $20. He said, of all people, he said, I never said anything like, you know, you won't pay me back, this and that and everything else. But $20 then was all the money in the world. He said I was the only man he ever paid back. You know, he was a real, real Christian guy. But as soon as he quit working, I guess, at the coal mines, he started working at the food bank. It was the Huff Creek Pantry. And he worked there all the time. All the blooming time. And and I, you know, I, I can't tell you the stories and the stuff of his life, but, but uh, again, just like what you guys do, what all of you do, it is amazing. It's truly amazing. So anyway, in the state of the state, I thought, well, you know, if I could get the legislature to go along, let's just take $10 million of the surplus money and put it in an emergency fund. An emergency fund, just in, just to backstop whatever it may be, and so we put it in there, and they were good enough to say, "Yeah, we're all in," and everything. And we named it Posey Pear, off for off, off for a guy that truly, it's probably unbelievable the days that he spent at a food bank, at a pantry, trying to help people. Just what you're doing. Biggest part of his life, in a lot of ways. So, with all that being said, it's there. You know, uh, I hope we use all of it, and I hope we don't. And I hope what we do forevermore, forever, evermore, is every year we do the same thing over and over and over and over. Because, gosh, I just can't imagine. Just can't imagine the kids hungry and you're trying to figure out how to buy the medicine or how to keep the lights on in the house to keep them from being cold. You know, come on. That's what we need to be doing. If I keep talking about it, I'll get all choked up and big tears in my eyes and everything else. But I love it. I really do. Well, Governor, we're going to talk about you. Chad, would you read the <clears> message <throat> on the plaque? 
We do have a special message. <laughs> okay. I'd like to share this message. Um, so this is for Ocker Free West Virginia. This cooler was made possible because of the support of West Virginia Governor Jim C. Justice III and the West Virginia Legislature. No governor in our state's history has done more to fight hunger than Governor Justice. During his tenure, the state established financial support for the state's two food banks with a dedicated line item for community food programs established a joint food bank facility at Rock Ranch here in Putnam County. Presented a direct cash infusion, never been done in West Virginia, and has not been done much around the country, but a direct cash infusion to community food pantries through the allocation of $7 million in CARES money, and most recently created this $10 million Perry, Posey Perry Emergency Food Fund. We all believe in West Virginia, where no one goes to bed hungry. Our collective actions can end hunger in the Mountain State. And this cooler, as well as those mentioned above, play an important role in achieving that goal. Thank Tell you. Tell about these guys. something else because I'll, I'll be have big tears running down my face. Y'all come up here and say hi to baby doll. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we have uh, something there.